in this video let's talk about the greatest common divisor for a fraction so for this let us revisit the term divisor when we talked about integers so this is us talking about integers we said the divisor of an integer let's say 10 is such a number which when 10 is divided by we get another integer so for example 2 is a divisor of 10 because when 10 divides by 2 we get 5 similarly 1 is a divisor of 10 because when 10 divides by 1 we get 10 so similarly we can find other divisors of integers what about fractions now how can we define divisors of fraction now the problem here is that if we divide any fraction let's say 3 by 4 with any other fraction let's say 15 by 27 we know that what we will get is also going to be a fraction so if all of these are fractions there is nothing special about these divisors so we need to define our divisors in a special way so to make our divisors a little bit more special we say that the divisor of a fraction let's say we are finding the divisor of 3 by 4 will be such a number which when 3 by 4 is divided by we should get an integer not a fraction but an integer so this has to be such a number which divides our original number in such a way that we get an integer that is now our divisor so we now understand what is the divisor for a fraction let's see some examples 1 by 4 what is a divisor of 1 by 4 let's see is 1 by 2 a divisor of 1 by 4 let's see 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 this will give me 2 by 4 which is half this is not an integer so therefore 1 by 2 is not a divisor what about 1 by 8 is this a divisor if we divide this we get 8 by 4 which is equal to 2 this is an integer so therefore this is a divisor and this makes sense right if we talk about a circle we divide it into four halves this is one fourth one eighth divides our one fourth into two integral halves into two integers so therefore this is a divisor one by eighth is a divisor of one by fourth so now we know how to find a divisor for a fraction we just want to find a number which divides our original number evenly just like we used to before 2 divides 10 evenly into 5 halves similarly 1 by 2 no no not not 1 by 2 1 by 8 divides 1 by 4 evenly into 2 halves now based on this let's talk to, talk about the greatest common divisors of two fractions for this video let's take a simple example gcd of half and 1 by 4 before i tell you how about you pause this video and give it a shot yourself i hope you have tried this how about we do this the old way let's list down the divisors for 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 and find the one that is common and the greatest okay so for 1 by 4 we know that 1 by 4 is one of the divisors for 1 by 4 because if we divide 1 by 4 by 1 by 4 we get 1 which is an integer what about 1 by 8 yes we just saw that 1 by 8 also divides 1 by 4 evenly so therefore this is also a divisor similarly 1 by 12 1 by 16 these are all divisors of 1 by 4 and we can see that these go on decreasing we can see that 1 by 4 here is the greatest divisor of 1 by 4 we cannot have a number more than 1 by 4 which divides 1 by 4 evenly just like integers in integers as well the greatest integer that can divide 5 evenly is 5 the greatest integer that can divide 10 evenly is 10 a number greater than 10 will not be able to divide 10 evenly so 1 by 4 is the greatest divisor of 1 by 4 similarly if we list down the divisor of 1 by 2 we get 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 6 and so on now we can clearly see the greatest common divisor 1 by 4 1 by 8 here will be another common divisor but it is not the greatest 1 by 4 is the greatest therefore this will have an answer of 1 by 4 so in this video we did this the brute way the basic way we understood what divisors of fractions are and we found out the greatest common divisor for a 
pretty simple pair. In the next video, we learn a trick to find the greatest common divisors of fractions which are not so friendly.